Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Until Dawn, episode number two, and we are back for the therapy session. I have no idea what this guy is actually doing, but it feels like therapy. We're in a different place. I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. Is it a different place now than in the first session? This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now anxiety, so book, it is therapy. The pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Anxious? I see just people. Men worry me, women worry me. That's a little... Are you serious? I have to distinguish between genders now? What is it that worry me? Women? I think men worry me. Women or men? I'm just gonna say men. I've never thought about that, so I can't I can't really say it, but yeah. What makes me anxious? Planes scare me, crowds scare me. What scares me more? Crowds don't scare me. I like being around people. Planes don't scare me either, but it can be Um I can get nervous. I've been flying a few times. I can get nervous, so I think... Yeah, planes. Planes are more fitting. Oh, I fear heights. I fear drowning. <laughs> drowning is probably the worst death you could possibly have. Because... Basically... When you can't get when when you can't breathe, you have a reflex to get air into your lungs, but instead of air, there is water coming into your lungs. From that, you have to cough, and a cough is a reflex as well, which is continued by the reflex of breathing in something again, but you just again you're breathing in water, which fills your lungs with the water even more. And the only way you can either pass out from shock, if you're lucky, or you will choke. You will breathe in water until you are, you are choking because of lack of oxygen. So drowning is no, much worse than heights. Drowning is much worse than heights. Heights don't kill you. Drowning kills you. Jumping from heights kills you. <laughs> Ooh, snakes or rats? What's more scary? I don't... I'm not scared of rats. I'm not scared of snakes either. But I think snakes in general are more terrifying. Yeah. Snakes. That's very interesting. I would like to... Hear the answers from other players. Um, guns are scary. Knives are scary. I think guns are scary because they are... Hmm. I don't know what is more dangerous. Guns or knives? Guns can penetrate your body. Knives can cut and stab. What is more dangerous? I think guns are more dangerous because they can do more damage, more physical damage. Yeah. Next. <gasps> cockroaches! Yeah, definitely cockroaches. Ah, uh, I don't like bugs. I absolutely don't like bugs. I don't mind flies, butterflies. Or, you know, snakes, rats, I don't mind any of them. Spiders, I don't mind them. But bugs? 
I hate bugs and cockroaches are one of those things. Uh, and those big insects. Bigger insects like um dragonflies not that much anymore, but those huge like grasshoppers, those, those huge green grasshoppers. I'm scared of those. And I'm scared of, you know, how what are they called? Horn horn box? No. The the big box with or the big beetles? How do how do you call that? The black beetles with the horn. Anyways, definitely cockroaches. He's just writing stuff. Okay. Writing stuff down. Um clowns scare me, scarecrow scare me. Clowns don't scare me. That face scares me. But not clowns in general. Scarecrows. What is more scary? Clowns or scarecrows? I think scarecrows. Yeah, I think scarecrows are more scary. Gore disgusts me. What is gore? Wait a second, guys. Google Translate <laughs> because I don't know what gore means. Uh <laughs> Wait. Gore. Oh, something like, you know, blood, intestines. Um, crow scare me. No. I'm not scared of blood or intestines and I'm not scared of crows. But I think blood and intestines is more disturbing. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. A little bit. You're doing very well. Open love. <laughs> what ther what therapist does that? Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. I can only answer honestly when I think about my answer. Okay, cockroaches or spiders? Cockroaches. Because they can basically fly. Cockroaches are faster than spiders. And that's make th that makes them scarier. Um, gore or needles? Uh, gore? Ugh! That face is terrible! Zombies, yeah. Zombies are scarier than, than scarecrows. Wolves or gore? Oh, dogs! No, I don't fear dogs. I love dogs. Dogs are the best. This thing, that is a wolf and not a normal dog. But even wolves don't scare me. Storms scare me. Gore. It's still gore. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. <laughs> Cockroaches. Zombies. An awful. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> oh my god, am I gonna get those uh, things, oh. exactly those things in the game oh, now? I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Alright, that's the session session done. Previously on Until Dawn. Don't you guys think this is a little bit Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. Hannah and Beth. No! Shut up! 
first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments. We haven't that seen Josh yet. We'll never forget. For, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every Jealousy. time I climb it. Jealousy. Nine hours until dawn. It feels the same to me. There's Josh. Bruno Mars. Oh, right. We've seen him before. Um, Complex, thoughtful, loving, and an awesome songwriter. Come on. Singer. Probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's an true. entertainer. And dancer. We need to install some cell towers up here. I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I mean, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Oh, well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. Oh, so Matt is a little down. Things moving up here We're what? in control of yeah, Chris. Man. Gossip, worry, you're doing all right. He's protective. Chris is protective, so let's ask Matt what's hey. going on. No, Bruno. Right? I, mean, I know it must be really tough. <laughs> Josh, to <say>. stop. <laughs> I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just I want us to have a good time. You know, like we always used to. Damn it. Freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like get open or something. Wait a second. Get are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. Not if I don't report you. Oh um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. They actually own this place. Okay, so but they can basically do what they want in that place. Hi, Chris. That's why they come there. Hi, Chris. Unsettled, confident, nice being back. It's weird to be back. Yeah, it's kind of weird to be back, actually. Y you doing all right? Yeah. Because they have lots, lost two cold friends cold there. And vaguely creeped out by this place. It's, it's kind of weird being back up here, huh? Yeah. Update. We are in control of Chris still. Let's see. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's um. like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, what right? What is going on with the guys there? In this game. Protests agree? No. Man, this is hey, not appropriate. Cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna bang her, maybe... Michael, take up the case. Wait, will you back off already? Relax. Right? Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Um, I agree being together with Ashley. Chris and Ashley should be together, but not like this. Like, Josh is not right. Ah. <sighs> I think, yes, I think, ah, uh, I want to agree, but not in the way that Josh thinks. Let's agree. Uh, I'm a little right. scared about that. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. 
Okay, let's so move on. planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, but I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Koshis, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. What is going on with the guys there? Oh, there's a hatchet. Hello? Hmm. Oh, it's gone. Oh, no. Clue found. X holder is empty. Yep, and I know who has it. I have a very bad feeling. Damn, I'm getting pretty low in juice here. I just had to turn off my GPS. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Again. Again. That window is open. You can see it. It's open. Okay, he's definitely not a climber. Not very. I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, yeah you Jim. Know, climbing up the rope. Not really a gymnast, this guy, Chris. Whoa. Did I do that? No. I, don't, I don't think so. Here, use this. Do light bulbs in America burst just like that? I don't think so. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? What? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, what? yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye bye frozen lock. And for Bingo. what? All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. <laughs> okay. Why would I want to use the spray can? I don't get it. And there's gonna be a jump scare. I am preparing. There's a hint, right? What is that? Burning body? Lost totem. That was brown. A lost totem. I can't see who that is. Is that... Oh, what is the name? Of the, the girl with the black hair. Um, Matt's girlfriend. What's her name? I forgot. Wait, we can check. Can we check? Can we see the other characters? No, we can't, right? No, we can't. A lost totem. Loss of a friend. Oh god. This these prophecies make this game so much more scary. But at the same time very interesting. Which door do I use? There's a brick wall behind that. That looks like a storage room or something. What do you have here? Grab it and turn it around. Clue found. So what have we here? The Alberto ex janitor convicted for arson. Oh ho ho! Swears revenge on movie mogul's family. Oh. 
<sighs> there was a famous family living in that place where we are right now, and the janitor of this family went mad about something that the family did. I don't know. The family did something to them, to him, to the janitor. Oh god, there's someone behind the door, is there? Someone behind the door. Okay, no, maybe not. There's a jump scare coming, I know. I know there's a jump scare coming. Uh... Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't wanna look. I don't wanna look. Oh god. Oh god, I don't wanna look. Huh, huh. Huh? The picture. That's cool. Oh! Wait, oh right, it was Josh's family. There's Josh on the left. Oh god. This place is scary. This place is scary. I don't want to look. I want to look out for any... I'm just gonna... I'm looking at my... At my OBS now. It's a little smaller. It makes everything a little more. A little better to take. There's this skull. A. What is that? A buffalo skull? I don't know. What am I scared of? There's no one in here. Nobody can can get in here. And why do I hear voices? Oh, they're the friends. Oh, I, very funny. I know what's going on. Oh, how'd you know it was me? With the prophecy. Can you be like getting the lock open or something? On it. Yes, there was a burning body. The girl with the black hair was burning because Chris could use the the gas can. No, uh, the the spray can. So no, he is not gonna do that. I am not gonna use the spray can for what even to make light. You don't use fire. Is the power still working? No, I don't think so. You don't use a lighter and a spray can to make light. Just use the lighter itself. You can see it's working. Don't do that, kids. Don't do that. I want to have a closer, better look around. No, okay, let's just move on. What are... Oh! Oh, we can walk around this whole place. Can we go upstairs as well? Oh, I want to see this whole place. There's another family portrait. Oh, that's... There's Hannah on the left. Then Sam, Mike and... Beth, right? That is... Yeah, I think that's Beth. But why can I hear voices? That is not... Okay. Oh, the game doesn't let me... Oh, okay. Who I ca I have constant goosebumps. I told you I'm not good with horror games. And I keep looking at my at my OBS picture because it's a little better to take. Because oh that is crazy. Oh that's so cool. Because the window is a little smaller. Oh I can go down to the basement. I don't want to go down to the basement. 
I don't even see where I'm going. What am I doing? Oh, I'm back here. Okay, so what am I gonna do? Up, down, or... Does it matter how much time I take? Like, there's no invisible timer running anywhere, right? There was another place. Yes, this place. I could go in here. There's the dining room. One of them is gonna bang on the walls or something. Because those are great friends who would do anything for you. Um. Why do I feel like upstairs is scarier than the basement? Something makes me feel like the basement is a better idea right now. What did Josh tell me? I don't care what Josh tells me. He's he's not he's not okay. He's not Bruno Mars, okay? He's not. Oh, it's not the ba Is it the basement? Yes. I don't get it. Why do I feel safer in the basement than upstairs? Maybe because usually no one goes down there and I can be sure that there's actually nothing. <sighs> I'm such... <laughs> I'm so nervous. And I keep looking at my OBS. Another picture of Hannah, Josh, and I, I guess that's Beth. Wait, can I turn it around? Wait a second. Oh. Oh, I should have turned around the other picture as well. Hannah plus Beth. Josh with his lovely sisters. Oh. 13 August 13 I can what is that was that cinema room oh they had a cinema that is not accessible great those are the best cinemas we all know that during the pandemic the best cinemas are those who are those who you get can't get into so let's go up then. Oh, I think actually this is my first proper horror game. Like... I think this is already scarier than Dying Light has ever been. Yeah, I think, yeah. Wait, the other picture. Wait a second. Wait a second, guys. Just a second. There was another picture that I could have turned around. Can I take a look at this one? Was that a picture? Yes. Picture turn around. Okay. Ready for the senator prom. Sen senior prom. Senator prom. What? Yeah, Hannah, Sam, Mike, and Emily. Right. That is her name. The girl with the black hair that we saw in the prophecy, I think, that was her, Emily Burning, because my, my assumption that Chris is gonna use or could use the, the can, the spray can. Also depends on what's in the can. Whether it's hairspray or deodorant. Oh, he said, right, just said deodorant. 
And that is not good. That is not a good idea. I want to explore the whole house, but I don't want to explore the whole house because the chance that something could happen, some jump scares could happen, gets bigger with every step that I take. But I shouldn't discourage myself here. This is an abandoned house, there's no one in here. The only way I could get scared is when one of these amazing friends bang on the windows or doors. Ah, oh, that's some kind of award? Winner. Best Horror Film 29? Uh, 2009? Does it say 2009? Director Bob Washington, Blood Mon... Mo Mon Mon monastery? Monastery? Whoa. Okay. Ooh, there's some heads on the... Oh. I'm usually not scared of that stuff, but in horror games, uh-uh. Uh-uh. What is that place? Oh, there's a door I could open. I could have examined that window as well that we saw open, but I didn't want to continue with the... With the story, I wanted to keep exploring the place. Where am I? I can't see where I am. This place is so scary. Let's open the door. Oh, it, it actually opens. Oh, that's where we get the deodorant from. Uh, I'm not gonna take it. For what? We don't need it. Inferno for man. Get the fuck. Ah. <sighs> Why, developers? Why? Ah, it's just deodorant. How? <sighs> First what of all, what was that? Burning the lock open, that doesn't work. You're burning the wo the wooden door down. Uh, yeah, great. Thank well you, done. Thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> ah, <laughs> crap, that, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. <laughs> oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Oh god, is there gonna be an accident with the deodorant? I actually didn't want to use it, it just... Home sweet home. Forced me. Sweet is not the word I'd use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi! Hey! <laughs> Don't be jealous about it. It's just home, a hug. They are no, exes. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. It's easy there, cowboy. Man, Matt. Challenge Warren. Ah, I saw you and M. Stay away from Emily. Let's mention it. Don't Warren. Just mention it. What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M. With the telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? It's not. Um, I overreacted. Watch yourself, Mike. They are exes and they broke up for a reason. And it was just a hug that we saw. We're gonna talk about it with Emily as well. Matt is overreacting. I feel like he's about to overreact. Right. Yeah. Duh. 
I'm glad that Sorry, we could kind of a long day. I have that choice. Nah, man. We don't, don't have to ruin any friendship now. Be cool. Yeah, yeah, totally. Right, it's Matt and Jessica. Ma Mike and Jessica. There's Emily. Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Damn. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you what not hear me with your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Diffuse, provoke, um, yeah, calm everyone down. That's uncalled for, Jess. Diffuse. Em, come on. No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who could put him down? Friends, no one else can right. play with your toys. You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. Honor roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Diffuse. They both have to shut up. I don't want to provoke Diffuse. Emily, stop. This is out of hand. And there's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, exactly. and why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for 10 minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah, yeah, all right. Wanna go do that? Any place without that whore. Hey, it's right up the trail. <sighs> Who behaves like that? Well, that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? I guess not. Matt was carrying two bags. down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, he left it okay. after looking through the telescope. <sighs> Exiled. Exiled. <laughs> Works for me. What's with Burr. all the nastiness? How far That's... is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. <laughs> You're gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. Okay, they get their own place to say. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Now we are in control of Mike. Okay. 
shine right into her face. She deserves that after the shit she pulled off. Oh, there's something. Oh, I, we can talk to her. Hey, hot lips. Photo booth. All right, read my mind. Okay. That's a nice view. Eh. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy, and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Wink. Noted. That's so weird. That's not even sexy or attractive Burn. in any it's way. Freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things. How mind. are you gonna do that? There's going to be a jump scare, I know. There's a scum, a scum scare. Like, every five minutes. What now? Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. Shut up now. Disagree. Yes. Ah. Uh. She's a handful, but maybe ease up on her. She's still kind of torn up from being dumb. Um, hello. Not my problem, Mike, and not yours either. Screw Emily. Leave Emily alone. Yeah, there's why, why the beef? I don't get it. No, I mean, of course not. I'm just saying it's... Like, it's not worth kicking her when she's down, because... I'd much rather spend my time getting down with you. You see, you see what I, I did there? I did that for you. Yeah, okay. But she better stay down is all I'm saying. Uh, which way? Which way are we going? Oh god, the blood, the, the, the blood fly, the butterfly. Is this the sh shack where they are staying? Is that the place? Oh, what is that? <sighs> is that a death totem? No, it's red. It's a warning. Danger. Who is that? That's... That's Ashley! Okay, we are not playing Ashley right now, so we can go into that place. We can go in here. So we have to look out for Ashley and Emily. Alright, let's see. Boom! Nice one, Mikey. Okay. Woo, you we lit the place up. Nice. Why? Why are they stalking us? Gage, I'm always preparing for a jump scare now. For everything that's that's happening. Sam, the gates shall open. Pretty good, right? Yeah, totally. No, that was just awesome. Oh yeah, I bring the hit. Like yet? 
You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure. A sexcapade. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they are so ready. Oh, what's that? Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Oh. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. What do you remember? They are peace. Respectful. Yeah, we want to be respectful. Well, wherever they are, I'm sure they're happy. We're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. Okay, status update. <laughs> I don't trust this game. <laughs> uh, in the first, like, half... That was a scream. You hear that? I heard something. Yeah. In the first 20 minutes of this game, it managed to broke to break my trust in everything that's going on. Damn. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with the path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, aka Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. You know what? Fuck Wax it. Museum. We're adventurous. We will find another way around. That is a mind shaft. Ah! Ah! Jess! Um. Fuck! Hey, what? Jessica! Yep! Hey! I'm okay! Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. Cautious, heroic. I'll jump down, push the cart. Push the cart where? Okay, I come with her. I should come with her, yes. Alright, coming after you. Just stay put. <laughs> Why are they following why us? This cart thing? And why did Emily, I mean Jessica, not see the guy? He was right behind him. How am I moving? How am I moving? Okay. Move. I imagined us grunting together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> <sighs> They're in an old mine shaft now. Where are they even going? Oh, 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 hours oh, until Nelly. dawn this place is giving me the willies and every the hour willies. it's gonna get worse offer you a little comfort again the insurance. butterfly where are we Let's going the cabin, this i want to get out this looks like explosives because of the red there's a barrel and something red on top of it but i don't want to get deeper into the mine i want to get out and the creepy guys are probably following us. When you're in a mine, going up is always the way out. Seriously, it makes me choose again where I'm going. 
Oh. There's a little something to see. Clue found. This place is like historical. Holy bat cave. It's gotta be Native American, right? I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on, no. <laughs> no, no, it's like a shrine or something. A shrine to what? Great, oh. a shrine. It's a dogey. Weird place to hang out and smoke cigars. What is that? Clue found cigar stomp. Wonder who's out there. Wait a second, can I can I turn it? Let me No. Can't do anything with it. Okay. Put it back down. So there's someone living down here. I wonder who <laughs> A wooden box came, that came down. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm oh no, shit! You don't say. Now what is this? Danger, danger, danger! Jesus. A map. This place is a real fixer rubber. Yeah, it is. So where are we now? Does it say somewhere where we are? Areas at risk. No. Extreme rockfall danger. If I could if we could make out where we are. But we can't. I really can't. Oh, maybe. Nope, I can't. I can't. I don't know. I don't know. Are we outside? I hear wind and I see light. Finally, oh. a little ray of hope. Yes. Finally we're out. And now the creepy guys are right behind us. If we could just turn around and go back and kick them in the face. That was would solve all our problems that we have right now. What is here? What is this? Oh, that's a stop for a um a rail a railway railway stop. Cabin. There we go. Well, well. When Josh said cabin, I felt like a Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Uh, take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for the stump speech, buddy. Oh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Um, whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Okay. Let me see. No, she... She is pranking us and she is gonna scare us again. What was that? I'm not even looking. Sampling the old eggnog again, babe? It's just us up here. Maybe. What was that? It was a face. It was eyes. <sighs> I constantly have goosebumps. Hey, Jess. Mm hmm. Stay close by, okay? What's that? Oh, uh, this, this posting this? says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. 
Come on, please. Come on. Let's not hug a bear. <laughs> Here we go to the cabin. Oh my god, I don't trust this game. I'm freaking out. But it's fine, it's just the game. It's just a game. Just a stupid game. And freak, freaky music. Oh, look at that. Why? Annoyed? Rest, rest with wings? <laughs> rest with wings? Oh, poor Mikey. Did the little birdie get your panties all bunched up? She's so gross. Like diseases and shit. <sighs> Why would you do a jump scare? with a bird the only thing scary is the 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 sound effects and the music if it if it wasn't for the music there would be no jump scare would just a, would just be a, a bird and a a huge zoom in <sighs> damn it Josh Couldn't you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. Oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You've got something on your face. Ah. Boo! <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yep, and she's gone. And she's nowhere to be found and yes. Did they find the bodies? Demi! What? You wanna help me get this fire going? Uh well Imagine I they found just the bodies. Into the bath. Oh. Oh, do you need any help with that? Hardy are! Okay, they want to get a fire going and that is an opportunity for Emily to get burned. Come on. So we have to be careful with that. Alright Josh, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. There are gonna be more jump scares from freaking animals. This whole game is probably just made of, of jump scares. But still, I want to have a look around. What was that? <laughs> uh. Masks. There they are. In every... What's that? Oh! Another... Yeah. This thing again. I think in every section... Like in every... Um... Scene. Let's say. Right. I can find a... One of those... Um... Prophecies. What? Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that somewhere Let's just go down. We have already looked have at everything. Spirit board. A what? Wow, you have a spirit board? Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, There's bro. Ashley. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, okay. Guess so. Brad, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? Oh, I can open the... I can open the door or something. Can I do something? Nope. Because the main entrance is locked. You know what, guys? I think I'm gonna end this episode here. And I'll see y'all in the next episode. So, yeah. I can't wait to see what's coming. Haha. <laughs> I love our games. <laughs> okay, goodbye.